It began with a single image, a quiet snapshot from the surface of another world. October 4, 2025, inside Jezero Crater on Mars, NASA's Perseverance rover was running a routine sky scan. But then, across the thin Martian atmosphere, its navcam captured something no one expected, a glowing object cutting a straight, radiant path through the red night. At first, it looked like a comet, nothing more. But when scientists checked the data, something didn't fit. The object was too bright, too consistent, and moving too fast. That image, a streak of light suspended over the Martian horizon, became the start of one of the most mysterious stories in modern astronomy. Because what Perseverance saw that night might not have been natural at all. Its name is 3I Atlas, an interstellar object, a traveler not born under our sun. And what it revealed may redefine what we know about cosmic visitors. When the Atlas Telescope in Chile first discovered it, astronomers logged it like any other comet. But within days, strange irregularities appeared. Its orbit didn't behave like a comet's. Its path was sharper, more precise, almost deliberate. Then came the velocity calculation speeds so high that no gravitational force from the sun could have captured it. That meant one thing only. It came from another star system. But this wasn't our first interstellar visitor. In 2017, the world met Oumuamua, the first object ever seen crossing into our solar system from deep space. It was cigar-shaped, tumbling oddly, and fading faster than any comet on record. Then came Borisov, a true interstellar comet, spewing gas and dust like a frozen traveler from afar. 3I Atlas was different. Its orbit threaded almost perfectly through the plane of the planets, a path so aligned with our solar system, it looked guided. And as it passed Mars, its brightness pattern changed in a way no comet ever had. NASA tried to stay cautious. Official reports called it an optical artifact, a stacking effect caused by multiple frames taken as the comet moved. But the raw data told another story. The glow was too uniform, the geometry too clean. It looked like a long, luminous cylinder with shadow gradients suggesting depth and structure. Across online forums, scientists, engineers, and conspiracy hunters all asked the same question. What if it wasn't just a rock? Could it be a probe, an ancient messenger from another world, passing silently through our system? No one can prove that. But what we can prove is equally mind-bending. As 3I Atlas approached Mars, the Sun released a massive coronal mass ejection, a storm of plasma strong enough to melt spacecraft shielding. That storm hit 3I Atlas deaden. But instead of disintegrating or brightening like an ordinary comet, its brightness dimmed, its coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding it, vanished almost overnight. Normally, that would mean the object evaporated, but radar readings showed it was still there, intact, solid, and reflecting sunlight differently than before. What kind of natural object can resist a solar blast like that? That question sent telescopes across the world scrambling to observe it. The Hubble, the James Webb, even the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter all turned their eyes toward this silent traveler. The results were baffling. Light from 3I Atlas showed extreme negative polarization, meaning the way it scattered sunlight was opposite to ordinary dust or ice. That usually happens with metallic or engineered surfaces, rough, complex, possibly layered. Of course, that doesn't mean it's artificial. Nature can create weird materials, Two cosmic glass, carbonized dust, frozen metal oxides, but it pushed scientists into a corner. If it's natural, it's made of stuff we've never seen before. Then came the chemical readings. 
Spectral data hinted at compounds found in Martian soil silicates, iron oxides, and even traces of carbon dioxide. A strange coincidence, considering its close encounter with Mars. Could it have originated from a planet like Mars, a world shattered long ago in another star system? Or could it be part of something much larger debris from an ancient structure, a fragment of technology that drifted across the galaxy for eons? No one knows. And yet, the coincidences keep stacking up. Its orbital entry point within 9 degrees of the same sky region, where the WOW signal was detected in 1977. Its trajectory nearly identical to our solar system's ecliptic plane, and its timing appearing exactly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, right when multiple telescopes were already active for planetary imaging, almost as if it wanted to be seen. Now, as three I-Atlas slingshots around the Sun, a strong Astronomers are waiting for its reappearance. If it survives perihelion, the closest point to the Sun will have a second chance to study it. But if it disintegrates, it will vanish forever, leaving only data, speculation, and the faint dust of another world scattered across interplanetary space. Still, even the data we already have is priceless. Its density suggests it's far heavier than expected, possibly billions of tons. Its rotation speed is stable, no tumbling, no gas jets. Its path remains perfectly clean. Something is holding it together in ways ordinary comets can't manage. For astrophysicists, that's an exciting puzzle. For philosophers, it's a haunting idea. Because if 3i Atlas isn't just another rock, if it's something else, then we might be witnessing the first deliberate crossing between civilizations separated by light years. Imagine this, millions of years ago, in another solar system orbiting another sun, something was launched an object designed to endure time, radiation, and distance. Its creators long gone, their world possibly destroyed, but their machine still sailing through the dark, obeying the last instructions it was given to explore, to travel, to survive. And now, in 2025, on Mars, of all places, humanity finally sees it. Not through the eyes of an astronomer, but through the lens of a rover, our own machine, quietly capturing a photograph that might be history's strangest handshake. Two civilizations, two robotic explorers, meeting across billions of years and billions of kilometers, on the same stage, under the same stars. Perhaps that's the beauty of it. Even if 3i Atlas is only a rock, it still connects us to something greater, the endless chain of matter, gravity, and motion that binds every world together. Every visitor from the void carries a story written in its elements, a record of alien suns and ancient chaos. 3i Atlas is more than a scientific curiosity. It's a cosmic messenger proof that the universe is alive with travelers and that space is not a silent void. If that's true, then we aren't the first to explore only the next. For now, it races onward, out of sight, beyond Mars, past Jupiter's domain, slipping quietly back toward the stars. Its trail fades, but the questions remain. Who sent it? Where did it begin? And how many more like it are still on their way? Until then, we keep watching, we keep searching, and every now and then, the universe answers not with words, but with light. A streak of light over a red Martian sky. A moment frozen in time. The story of a traveler that shouldn't exist. This is 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that defies everything we thought we knew.